Okay, this is Christine Conley of Penny Lane uh, Hair, and she is making a wig for. What are you making the wig for? It's for um, the show Blood Wedding at Looking Glass Theater. Blood Wedding at Looking Glass Theater. And how long did it take you? Um, I'm about 10 hours in right now. I'm uh. guessing I still probably have another 10 to 15 hours. And what are these little pins here for? They're holding the lace down into place. We stretch the lace onto the head. So this is the actor's actual head shape. We get a head wrap of their head, yeah. mark their hairline, and then we, um, so I'm custom making him a wig so it'll fit his head perfectly oh, wow. and comfortably. And let me see the process here. So this is ventilating. I'm tying knots into lace with a for little one, For one hair strand. Hook. Yeah, uh, back here I can take probably about three or four hairs per yeah. knot, but the closer I get to the front, I take yeah. smaller and smaller bits of hair, which is why it goes, takes longer when oh, you geez. get to the front. People say that with, with my process, it's really intense and nerve-wracking, but I've never seen anything like this right here. <laughs> Jeez. It becomes relaxing. You kind of sure. get settled in. You can, like, watch TV or listen to the... A ra you know the radio or a book or something like that so it's like any kind of monotonous kind of work mm -hmm. right? yeah but you, you definitely need to stretch after you know every hour or so yeah or your you know your hands get pretty sore and your body can get pretty t tight so. okay now why did you choose that one spot there instead of another spot you want to um you don't want it to be too patterned like you don't want it to have any kind um. of specific um pattern you want it to look natural and organic meaning that it's random okay so you're trying to you know I'm I'm I know a good density for the top of the head to make it look natural based yeah. on what they want so this is going to be a younger kind of character right yeah it's for um, Cause younger people have more hair yeah it's for a man actually okay yeah that's right so the actor himself is actually completely bald so we invented the hairline based oh, off of it's not it. Patrick Stewart is it no well, that I would wish. be cool if that it was. That would be pretty cool. I like Patrick Stewart. The guy's name is Kareem. Kareem. Mm -hmm. Eldu Jabbar. Very handsome. Oh, very handsome. Okay. Uh, yeah, he's an actor in Chicago. An actor in Chicago. Now, yeah. the uh, what time period are they set in? Uh, I'm not sure actually. I'm. I didn't do the design work for this show. I'm yeah. just building the wig, so yeah. I don't know all of the background of the show. I was just handed the project and I'm working on it. So. Well, what the, uh, the look of the hair, I thought maybe it'd be like um, the 17th, 18th century, something like yeah, that. Yeah, it might you be. Know? You know, we're going to do a pretty good haircut on it, yeah. so it's not going to oh, look exactly okay. like this. We always start with longer hair. Oh, see, now that, I didn't understand that. Mm -hmm. So what you're going to do then, this is just the beginning. Yes. And then you're going to cut it and style it. Yes. So we start okay. from the foundation. We're just building the main structure of the wig. Very cool. But this is definitely the hair texture. And look, can want. I see what you have here? Yeah. This is. I'm using two different types of hair. So there's one that's really wavy. Yeah. And one that's like more of a loose wave because they want kind of a mixed. And what kind texture. of tools do you have here? These are just. I have a seam ripper in case. I don't know. For building the wig, sometimes I need the seam ripper. Yeah. And just scissors. To cut the hair with this yeah. is a bigger needle okay um, oh this is the smaller one actually this is the bigger one this one's smaller so you can see if you look closely the hooks are slightly different size oh, so yeah. I can pick up more hairs with this one yeah so when I move to the front I need this one because it's gonna pick up less hairs and do finer knotting whereas oh. with this one I can do bigger knotting and move faster oh very cool yeah so there's all different size hooks so now I'm switching to the more Wavy hair. So you intersperse the wavy hair with the less wavy mm -hmm. hair. They kind of want it like 50-50 mix of the the tight wave because he's supposed to look like a man, you know, a man that's not, he doesn't have like beautiful kept hair with okay. a perfect wave in it. So they want it a little bit inconsistent. So he's like an older guy with the receding, uh, you know, like in my hair, how it recedes. Yeah, it might be. Let me see. I don't know. On he's receding probably a little bit. Yeah, that's what happens when you get older. Mm -hmm. Do you have your stuff in your hair today? I do have my fake hair in do, today. Do you mind showing it? No, sure. You can show it. <laughs> my fake hair just Because that's really in cool, too. Yeah, so my hair, I have 
I'm growing out all this shaved part under here. Oh, that is so, so cool. So I have these hair yeah. extensions in my hair. Yeah. And my hair is sandwiched in the middle of two fake pieces of hair. Oh, that is so cool. So when it all, so I have them stacked in my hair. So when it. And the other down, side, do you have it in there too? I have. Yeah, you can't even two. tell. You know, even when you told me about it, I, it, I can't even really tell. They're in here. That is so cool. Yeah. So you could make yourself into really long hair if you wanted to. Yeah, it wouldn't look very natural. Oh, okay. Because it's got to all blend together. But. Hey, and where is your hair place located at? It's in Logan Square. Logan Square. On uh, Sawyer and Milwaukee. In Sawyer Chicago. and Milwaukee. And the name of it is Pen Penny Lane Studios. Penny Lane Studios. Yeah. Okay. Hey, thanks, Catherine. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay.